Got a joke for you. What do Germans call a dead car battery? A nine volt. <laughs> All jokes aside, we're talking about how finding the right battery may take a little bit more diagnostic time, but it can make for a happier customer. Next. With any diagnostic procedure, you first try to rule out the obvious causes of a fault or customer complaint. These items can include fuses, fluid levels, and the mechanical operation of the components. But one item that is often forgotten, it's the health of the battery. The voltage levels in an electrical system can determine how sensors, modules, and actuators perform. If the current in the battery is underperforming, it can cause many diagnostic testing problems and even codes. For example, let's say the battery cannot keep the voltage above seven volts while the engine is cranking. In that case, it may generate multiple U codes in many modules, indicating the loss of communication all over the vehicle. Even if the engine starts in some vehicles, the ABS stability control could go into a failsafe or inactive mode because the high speed CAN network has crashed during the starting procedure due to low voltages. While the state of charge test can tell you a lot about the battery, you also need to measure how low the voltage goes while the engine is cranking. This can be performed with your meter's min-max function. If you have a scope, you can graph the voltage drop, looking at not only how far the voltage has dropped, but for what length of time. On some diagnostic conundrums, you will need a healthy battery to carry out some diagnostic tests. If the battery is failing, you could have inconclusive results if you're trying to bidirectionally control a component. Let's say it's a solenoid and transmission or even an EVAP valve. Of course, having the right battery in the car is the first step. If the car came standard with an AGM battery, it's in everybody's best interest that it is replaced with an AGM battery. With two times the cycle life, 20 times the vibration protection, and greater durability, AGM technology delivers better starting protection than conventional battery designs. So before you start wasting valuable diagnostic time, always evaluate the condition and the composition of the battery first. If the battery is underperforming, get the customer to authorize your replacement. You could resolve many problems before you have to haul out the diagnostic big guns. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.